Hello, my name is Kark72, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Last episode, we went ahead and crafted up all the parts for the metal press. Now we can go ahead and put this together, but I th what I'm thinking is... I think I'm going to leave the solar panels and just have this its own kind of separate thing, and maybe expand it at some point to um, do some more thermal expansion machines kind of what I'm thinking. Although I will probably... Eh. Now I'll probably end up just leaving this... These couple pulverized... Just this little kind of build right here. Will probably be separate. Um, I'm thinking. But why don't we go ahead and build this metal press. Let's get it at least formed up here. And I built out a little bit farther over here. And I'm still trying to kind of figure out how I want the base to end up. I know it's turning into just one big giant kind of mess of stuff. But uh, yeah, this I feel like is probably going to move. Maybe like over here would probably be better. Um, not sure yet though. But um, luckily I can break all these and move all, all these without having to worry about losing the drops in them, which is awesome. Um, but I think uh, for right now, I'm sort of happy with this. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest. I definitely am fully aware that it looks kind of messy at this point. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this crafted up. We could probably just put it like right here. Now, I remember, I mean, I remember how to do this, but I just can't remember where goes so why don't we just kind of do have it kind of lined up with that i guess at that redstone engineering block Which direction do we want it to go this way and then it's the piston right yeah piston and can you rotate them with the hammer? I don't remember. No. I do have... Oh, I have it right here. This should... Oh, you could rotate with the wrench. <laughs> well, we can do this cool thing where you can place below and do that. Actually, let's... Every engineering block goes on top, right? Oh, that's definitely not where I wanted that. There we go. And there we go. Man, I love being able to place <laughs> blocks below. You could even like, I don't know, could you? Yeah, you could probably be on like a ladder. Although that would be like super deadly. <laughs> I'm sure I'd fall into the void if I did that. All right, uh, there is that. And you, where do you, piston? Yeah, you hit the piston. And there we go. There is the immersive engineering metal press. And, uh, yeah, it's such a cool multi-block. All the multi-blocks from Immersive Engineering look so cool. So there was a... Apparently they can spawn on top. Alright, so basically we feed the power into the top. And we will put some ingots on here. And then it'll go through, press them into the mold that we choose. So a couple things before we uh, can do this. And one of those is power. I need to get power to this thing, so I'm kind of thinking. I mean, it's I know it's not very exciting, but those. Uh, I'm thinking maybe do an energy cell with a thing on top of it, and then feed it to the different immersive engineering machines that we're eventually going to have. I mean, it's definitely not anything super exciting, but it's kind of what I'm thinking uh, but before we do that because of the recursive nature of the the solar panels I wanted to try out this analog crafter and this is from extra utilities and it looks like it's you can save items you can save the uh, um, the recipe in them and I think you can actually pipe items into this as well, but I'm I'm not going to do that. I just kind of want to save recipes for it. Um, so what I'm thinking is the we'll do the solar panel. 
The question is, how many recipes do we really want to save here? Probably, I'll probably just do maybe three. I don't know. Let's build a couple of these. These are really easy to grab. Actually, let me, why don't we test one out before I get too involved in here? Um, should probably build out a bit more back here. And I can do some very basic kind of auto crafting, I would almost call this, with the... Uh, crafters but I want to check out how they work I hope they're not I hope it just acts kind of similar to a regular regular crafting table but you can it's like you can save items and you can actually pipe stuff in so we wanted to do that I guess why don't I actually we craft up a regular crafting table as well So I can do regular stuff on this side and then I'll kind of go down. Yeah, let's do, how about we do three now that I'm convincing myself. I also thought about crafting up the lumber mill or whatever to get better ratio on that, but does it really matter with bonsai trees? So there's one other crafting table and another one. And it was I need sticks. Well, that's right, I didn't have that collecting sticks. Oh, I didn't need that many. Oh well. Look at that. <laughs> the texture. An oak chest doesn't have a texture. Interesting. All right. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So glass. I do have a, a few things of glass here. Not a whole lot. Oh my goodness. There we go. I have enough for 21. I probably don't need that many. It is... You need eight. So it's 32 for this. I guess we do need... I guess we do need a lot of those mirrors. Yeah, those things are... Maybe I should have these saved in there. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably going to need more than that. All right, so we're going to need... All right, I have no sand. I really should have a, a thing for sand as well. All right, let me get uh, pulverize some stuff down and get some sand so I can <laughs> smelt up for glass because these solar panels take a whole lot of glass and then we will check out how these analog crafters work. Oh, they have... I just noticed they have grid power. And I'm actually... Now that I'm... I just noticed that grid power. I didn't notice that before. Um, let me craft up the other two water mills. I do have the stone burnt. I just didn't have all the redstone that we needed. But now that I have this sifting thing going on, we have a whole bunch of redstone. And I'm even putting redstone in here. I know I can just go to the nether to get nether rack, but uh, yeah, I'd rather do something a little bit different. And uh, I'm pretty sure the nether is quite deadly as well. And I'm not quite prepared to go there. I have no armor or anything. So yeah, that's kind of the reason I was doing the the nether rack in there. Um, so yeah, let me cut here, craft up some stuff, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and I actually was smelting up some glass, and I was like, why don't I actually just go ahead and upgrade these? We do have the quest for them. I think it's even in, it's in the alpha one. I need to collect all my all my quests. Claim all. I'm so bad about claiming all these. Any more? Yeah, I have like a whole bunch here. Because basically, it's just giving you the, the things, which are cool, but, uh... Yeah. I definitely want to... I want to turn some of these in and get some of the rewards, too, uh, sooner than later. But uh, before we do that, uh, so yeah, gold furnace and then diamond furnace. Hmm. I'm assuming... Oh, I don't know, actually. Can you right-click on the thing? You just like craft that and then right click on it, or do you have to put it in a thing? That seems a bit silly. It's the exact same. 
it's actually more expensive because I mean, flint and cobble. But uh, if you can't like right click on the furnace with that, I'm actually kind of curious. How do we? I'm gonna try that. I'm just I'm curious if that is if you can right click on them and then the other one will just do regular. Yeah. Let me just do, because I've never played this mod before. So there's that, and then... Like, for one of them. So if we... If this is face down... Yeah, okay, so you can shift-click it. Nice. That's good to know. And then there's also the recipe if you want to do it that way. But, uh, yeah. We got the diamond one, and then the emerald one. Oh, I'm short on two glass. And then each one of these obviously is faster. So cook time 130, cook time 100, cook time 60. Why did I place down that one? <laughs> that seemed a bit silly. I should have placed on the uh, emerald one. Oh well, because now I'm gonna have to break that. And there we go. What comes after that? Ooh, ender pearls. Yeah, we do not have ender pearls. Um, I need to set up a mob farm. Well, not a mob farm, a mob killer. And there is actually a recipe for that, or a, a quest for that as well. That's good to know. All right, so that. Uh, and yeah, we can see how much faster that is. That's awesome. There are a bunch of upgrades for these as well. I just haven't kind of got around to that. I, do, I feel like they were gated, weren't they? Behind something, and I don't remember what they were. Furnace, is it furnace overhaul or something? Yeah. So blank upgrade, nether quartz. That's what it was. We have nether quartz yet? I feel like I haven't seen that. Ah, uh, soul sand, that's why. I have not got soul sand yet. Um, I know we can get this in the nether, but there is, yeah, sand with witch water. I could set up a soul sand thing. Maybe I can do that. Similar to this, I would just have some, I'd have it creating witch water. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Uh, depending on how much soul sand we need. I'm going to need to do it eventually to get the nether quartz. It's a pretty high drop chance, isn't it? So like in diamond, here is 2%, but this is like 100%. Yeah, you almost get... Actually, I don't know. Is 2 100%? And then like another 2 is 80%? I actually don't know. All right, so let's check out these. Oh, I did craft up the other watermills with all the redstone that we had. So that's good. So... There's that. Yep, definitely need more wood. I'm trying to um, keep this kind of stacked with stuff, so I'm only producing stuff that I want. Basically apples for some food and dirt and leaves and saplings kind of thing. Should probably... Man, should I craft up... Did I craft up the uh, the lumber mill? I'm sure it's easy enough. Is it lumber mill or what is it? Lumber? I can't remember. Mill? Sawmill, not lumber mill. Yeah, I mean, it's relatively treated wood plants. We do have creosote, aluminum gear. Yeah, this is easy. Saw blade, yeah, steel plates, constantin. Don't have constantin yet. Um, we can probably make it. Isn't it like nickel and copper or something like that? I don't remember. Um, but I would like to get all the... Well, do we need all the thermal expansion stuff? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. We'll kind of... Like I said, we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, there's the 32. Oh, man. I was... I should have been doing it in there. What was I doing? All right. Well, we forgot to do that one. <laughs> I'm so used to do that there. All right, so let's try this. So if we do it like that, I want to do sticky. So it 
Sticky means it keeps the recipes, right? Is what I'm assuming that's what it means. And spread items would be if I'm piping the stuff in, which we are not actually doing. That's funny. I was just here I am like just talking away and forgetting to There's, yeah, I need four, four pistons. That's right. And Invar, probably, probably need some more wood. All right, so let's see how this works if I do that All right it does have the stuff so does it go like we need to give it a I actually don't know how does this actually work I don't know does it need well it doesn't need a that would need a redstone right it's on off it's impulse always on All right, let me look this up really quick. I'm actually kind of curious how this works. I thought that would give me the thing, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it didn't pipe that into there. Yeah, let me uh, just look up how this works. I'm kind of curious. All right, I just realized what it is doing. It's not saving the item. It is, now that I have set to sticky, there is one item in, so it's not going to use those, so I can pipe more in. But uh, if I pipe... Let's do spread items, so it'll spread it out like that. And if we pipe these in, now it's going to craft up the thing. But since I told it, I didn't want to, I wanted to keep this recipe in. Um, it's not like a ghost recipe. It is actually, the items are literally in there. So that is a little bit different than I was hoping it would be. Let's see, yeah, I was, I was hoping they would be like ghost items, but yeah, that's not ideal. That is for sure. I'll have to think about um, how I want to do that because as we move up the tiers of solar panels, they get so much more expensive. So leaving a whole batch, like leaving all this in there would be like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. But uh, good to know that is how it works. Do I have any stone? Don't. Let's smelt some up. And we need a couple more sticks. Maybe I should have a thing of sticks. Eh, I'll leave it for now. Uh, on that, I meant. So. There. Yeah, I'll have to kind of decide how I want to do that need three more iron I probably don't need to be doing this <laughs> while recording but uh, yeah actually let me cut here just because I've done this before we don't need to keep showing uh, crafting up solar panels and we'll come back and I'm also going to craft up a uh, an energy cell as well and uh, we'll come back all right, we're back, and I am crafting up the energy cell. That's we got a couple solar panels, and I need some I need some of the cables, um, the the wires. Yeah. So I have copper coil. All right, so it looks like you can do. They all go around the same copper coil. That's good to know. Um, obviously, LV, MV, HV. I guess we'll just do... Oh, that's right. Don't they, like... You get shocked from these now, don't you? Uh, I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any insulation stuff. Maybe that's something to think about. Why don't we go ahead and... Some of this, and I also need, let's see, connector. 
probably want I want to craft both of these. Terracotta is just clay. I have a bunch of it. So how many do we need for one? We need six. And these are copper plates. Yeah, so I'm going to need four of those and then I guess we'll just do LV. So three of those and two. All right. Hammer. Just need four of these. Right. Oops. That. Those are those. That and that. I mean, I usually like to do, I don't remember what they're called. They're kind of like posts. Man, what are those called again? I have to, these. Wooden posts, yeah. I don't know if I have enough treated wood. I have any tree to wood. I have some. But I have plenty of creosote, or I should. Yep, yeah, because I have a reservoir of it. Oh, I have some right here. Yeah, so that's really cool. You can do it from the. I guess we'll just do all of that. You can do it straight from the. Uh, the thing. Oh, nice. You get three of those. Stone. Oh, it's stone bricks. Not just regular stone. All right, there we go. What's this one? Wooden wall mount. I'm assuming that means you can... I don't know. Let's try that one as well. I think that probably means you can put it on the side of like a building. Or side of anywhere, really. Like on the side of this. Let's try that. I'm, I think this is what this is. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I kind of wanted it like that. Let's... Let's do that and then... I guess we can just have this like back here and then we can send it up there and then to all the different machines kind of what i'm thinking what we'll do live connector there connector there and then oh apparently we have stuff being able to spawn up there did not know that and then we'll do the relay here, because, yeah, that is what I thought it was. Um, these can only connect to one. But these, I think, have eight connections, I think, on those. So, I mean, I don't need to do this. I can just do it directly into that, but... Yep. Connect to that, and then that to that. All right, so there we go. I don't know if those were actually running before, I don't remember, but uh, it should be getting power, I think. Right? No, it's not. Now it is. Right? Yep, there we go. All right, so it's getting power. Now we need the, the mold. So I think the first one we should get is probably the plate mold. And let's look at this really quick. Yeah, we need to... Oh, I didn't get the... Oh, there's a quest for all three. All right. And there's the thing for that. I'm assuming that's... You're going to need LV, HV, and whatever. So, Engineer's Workbench. That actually works out. We just 
made some treated stuff. Um, do I have any? Oh, let's just. Oops. Let's do that. Workbench. Go. And then, don't we need? We need like blueprints for this, don't we? Oh, we've got. Looks like this is giving us blueprints for everything. That's really cool. I like that. So, I guess um, put this kind of. Well, oh, that's gonna be a bit close to that, but uh... yeah. So, what do we want? We want the molds. So let's get. Want the plate? So it's five steel plates. Let's go ahead and get those. Why not? I think I put more in here, didn't I? Yeah, I have plenty of steel. It's good. Should hold on to this. So it's kind of this hammer. I'm using it a bit. I need what did I need? I can't remember. Five? What did I say? <laughs> it was what? 30 seconds ago? I already forgot. I think it was five. Yeah, five. Um, does this hold? Yeah, it does hold it. Um, I need the engineer wire cutters. I never crafted those because I was using the shears. Wire cutters. Well, that's like super easy. And uh, wire or ironing it. Go. Nice. So we'll do the plate one first because you need plates to craft more of them. All right, so you just right click there and then um, let's. I'm going to do. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I usually like to have a, a hopper. I find it easiest to do that. And then maybe a chest. So we'll do hopper on one end and then the chest on the other. I think that should work. Right, it should automatically input into a chest if I remember correctly. And then we'll do that. And let's see, what do we, I'm gonna want the wire mold. So let's do five more and we should get the plates. Yeah. It does that. And sends them there. All right, so there we go. There is the metal press. I love that animation. I just think it's so cool. Not the fastest machine in the world, but definitely looks very cool. Let's go ahead and do this and we will get the metal pressed. Now, do you need, is it? Yeah, you can just right click to switch them out. Um, I usually try to keep the same mold on it every time because sometimes I have a habit of like switching out and forgetting and then I'll throw iron in here and then I get the wires when I don't want the wires. But all right, I am pretty happy with that, I think, because um, moving forward, we're going to need lots of plates, it looks like, and doing it manually is easy, but uh, why do it manually when you can have a cool immersive engineering machine doing that for us? Yeah, so what do we have over here? Oh, garden cloches. Ah, all right, so garden cloches are really cool, but it definitely looks like we are gated here thing i mean that's easy constantin okay and powered it's it's gated behind in power and there's some electrotine eh, i'm not getting any electrotine at the moment all right but let's nickel copper i mean that's easy all right but that's pretty cool i mean these things are super powerful so understandably 
that they are kind of gated here. Greenhouse glass, yeah. Empowered, yeah. So definitely gated behind the empowerer. Topiary glass. Oh, that's just dirt with some seeds. Oh, that's easy. All right. I mean, that's not... None of this stuff is crazy, but uh, yeah, it is... We would have to set up the empower for um, actually additions. And I kind of think in, I've noticed a few recipes here and there that require a different um, empowered stuff. So I think maybe that would be kind of, maybe getting into a little bit of actually additions would be kind of the direction we want to be going, but uh, Yeah, what else is this? Squeezer. Is this sending us down like the d diesel generator? Yeah, diesel generator. That could be pretty cool. Um, uh, getting a diesel generator set up for making power. It's a pretty fun kind of setup. But you need like two squeezers, two fermenters, and a refinery kind of thing, isn't that? can't remember it's two two and one of these will feed a diesel generator or is it I can't remember I have set it up but it's been a long time um yeah so that's something to think about but I will probably hold off on that until we can get the garden cloches because I would want to be growing the whatever seed for you know the the stuff we need I can't remember You need oil and something else. I can't remember. The ferments are in the squeezer. You put these two together in a refinery and it makes diesel. Um, but uh, yeah, before we do that, we're going to have to get into some actually additions. And I don't know which chapter that's under. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's kind of right there up the top. Oh, here it is. Just a few. <laughs> There's only about five things for actually additions. But anyway, we'll get back into that uh, more next episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.